Amen. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Cullen again, joining you for another of our morning devotionals as we seek to invigorate your faith and better progress on a journey to live, love, and act like Jesus. And this week, we're practicing the rule of life and making sure that we're taking the time to write rules into our life to ensure that we're trusting and worshiping the Lord and when times are good and when times are bad. And this morning, I would invite you to reflect on Psalm chapter 22, verses 9, 10, and 11 with me. The psalmist says, Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my mother's birth. And since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me. For trouble is near, and there is no one to help. As I've been trying to pray and, and seek the Lord through this time, I realize that it's in these situations when times are bad, when our spirits are low, that we need God the most. When danger is near, and there's no one else around. I think the psalmist may have been experiencing a little bit uh, of what we're experiencing, or maybe we're experiencing a little bit of what he's experiencing. But it's in those times that, that our spirits are low that we need the Lord the most. And if we don't have these rules of life to make sure that we're making sacred space to spend with God every day, in a variety of ways, whether for you that's meditation or contemplation or centering prayers, breath prayers, whatever your spiritual practice where you feel closest to God is, it's so important that we make space to do those practices because in every situation we need to be trusting the Lord. In every place, this prayer of the psalmist is so beautiful in verse 11. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Hear me. You don't need anyone to help you except Jesus. Jesus is bigger than any danger that could be near to you. And so I hope today that you're encouraged to press into Jesus, press into the Lord, for your needs, for your spirituality, for your encouragement. I hope that you're not looking to these other places for that. I hope you're realizing the power of trusting in the Lord for deliverance. I hope this encourages you. I hope you're ready to go tackle the day to better live, love, and act like Jesus. And I'll see you again tomorrow.